Hello there, I am Izzy Noodles. Welcome to the start of a new walkthrough, Parisian Catacombs. This is just a two-parter, but I find this level set very unique. And it seems based around a film called As Above, So Below. Great film, by the way, highly recommend. Uh, so this game has two levels, but level one is significantly longer than the second. So we're going to be in level one for a while. Okay, so we start off on the streets of Paris. It's not such a big area, so don't worry about getting lost. So come to the left and then cross this bridge. So this bridge goes above the subway. And then I'm going to set myself up for something that I'm going to be doing later. So there is this manhole cover. I'm going to open this up now. So the reason I did that is because I do not yet have my pistols. It's just going to be an easy getaway without getting hurt. So the first thing I'm going to do now, well not the first thing, first thing was the manhole cover, second thing, we're going to come into the bakery. And there is this guy over in the corner, so let's approach him. I need to get into the catacombs. Can you help me? It will cost you. Yeah, how much? I need to get something personal, into the hands of the budget, yes across the way. Okay, what is it? That is not your concern. Really? Do you want access or not? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so after that conversation we automatically have a white powder in our inventory. We will not ask any questions. <laughs> So uh, before leaving, come behind the counter, there's some flares and a med pack. These are pretty much always together. If you've got some flares, make sure you pick up the med pack that is probably there as well. So very likely there's the two items on the same spot. Okay, and I can go into the back room. We can claim a secret from there, but we will need our pistols, so I cannot do it just yet. So now we've got everything, we can leave. Alt, you are under arrest. I need to lure those cops away from that manhole cover, as there may be someone in the butchers who can help take care of them for me. Okay, this is why I opened up the manhole cover. So just <laughs> straight on down and the water will break your fall. So the reason that Lara said to lure them away from the cover is just so you have chance to open it up. But I already did that. So we're actually coming down and heading into the butchers so that we can have someone to help us out deal with the cops. Yes, I think uh, the white powder might be a little suspicious. That's probably why they're after us. <laughs> Okay, more flares and a med pack. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, and here we are. This is our new friend. She kind of follows you a bit. It's kind of funny. There's a, a cool Donald duck there. <laughs> and over in the corner, there is a button. So the moment you approach the button, Lara will automatically push it. You do not need to press interact to interact with it she'll do it automatically but just be ready to run right outside because the cops will be heading in so straight for the manhole cover again okay one's already down <laughs> so our new friend is taking care of them so just listen out and then when they're all dead you will actually get the prompt anyway so we're just waded out here in the sewer. Looks like that's the last of them. Perhaps I can go see that butcher now. Okay, so that's our prompt now that the, uh, the cops are all dead. There's three cops. And you actually can't go back into the butchers the way you came down through the sewer here because the hatch closes up 
once you uh, push the button and alert the cops. So come back inside the butcher, we have a guy that's now spawned. Thank you. You're welcome. It is okay, and something else, to help you your way. I guess this key opens a door somewhere down below, maybe the subway? Okay, so we have our pistols now, so let's just equip them. They are ready. We also picked up a sewer key. Uh, no, the catacombs key, my apologies. So, firstly, now we have the pistols, I'll come back and grab the secret that's in this room. Just shoot the plates, you'll be looking at these. Shoot them, and then this obscure painting appears on the ground. That is our secret, and you will need to crouch to pick that up. She uh, kind of doesn't really like that it's so close to that countertop. So from here, we will start heading down into the subway. We actually can't get there yet. We want to go down here, but we can't just go ahead and jump over the fence. She just can't make the jump. It's too high. Yeah, we have uh, our friend follows us as well. <laughs> okay. So above me, I've just passed a tightrope. You'll see it again in a moment. Take a left around here. There's the tightrope. That's how we're getting behind the fence. So look for this door. Okay, come on in and we can see there's market stalls. So there's watermelon and there's, I don't know if this is bread or rice, but there's some of that and there's some cookies. And behind here, there's even a banana which we can pick up. So you probably need to crouch again, depends uh -huh. on your positioning by the bags there. And up here we'll see there is a poor homeless guy and he has a note saying, need food, no money. Well, I'm not going to state the obvious, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and give him the banana that we picked up. Okay, now he is full up, he has moved on, so now he's gone, we can get to this spot and move this out of the way. So a lot of the time, anytime it's something changes in a scene, the screen goes black, that's normal. I believe it saves file space, but it is very normal, don't worry. Okay, come on through down the corridor. We have another flares and a med pack. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then continue along to the end. Okay, and we are out above the tightrope. So you can open this uh, this hatch as well as a shortcut back if you happen to fall down. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. You just gotta make your way over the other side of the fence and then just drop on down. She's losing her balance a lot today. She's very unsteady on her feet. Ironic considering uh, for me right now is recording. Today is New Year's Day, so maybe she had too much to drink last night. Okay, I'll go ahead and drop down. I think I'm over the fence good success. So you can do this first and then do the stuff with the manhole cover. So this is how you would leave. We don't need to though, so let's just continue down. Okay, and there are trains. So continue this way, jump just here. And you don't see these coming. If you don't know they're coming, you's gonna get hit. The very first time you play, you are definitely gonna get hit. <laughs> so there are two trains there on the way to this manhole cover. Open up this. And you can just head on down here. I failed to mention there is a forced med pack in the game, so there will be med packs being used. So, okay, just there is where we're going to be using the catacombs key. If we come to here, we'll spawn some 
some bats so just keep moving crouch down that uh, stops some of your health loss and I have discovered that moving as well seems to also stop a bit more health loss if you just crouch on the spot it seems to do more damage that's kind of I don't know how accurate that is but it looks as though that's the situation so just drop on to that tile drop on through and here we are, we are in the catacombs. So I didn't really know how to describe this, whether it's a no med pack run or with med packs, just because there is a single one that you are forced to use, not even from fall damage. We'll, you'll see what I mean when we get there. But coming on through, there's a block with skulls on both sides. Those are movable. Let's continue on to the back of the room, see what else there is. This is a trench of water. You'll not sink, but it will just slow you down as you're running. Two more movable blocks at this end as well. And if we approach the book... It takes trees. Let the light reveal the path of virtue. Let the darkness reveal only death and misery. Okay, so the second line is a bit over the top. The first line is the proper hint. Let light reveal the path. Or I, whatever it said. I meant to write these down. I forgot. <laughs> but the plan is, it's not clear right now what we're doing. But each block needs to be pushed into this trench at the ends. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, another thing is do not sprint and roll the sprint roll because often she'll just kind of keel over and die literally for no reason I'll see if I can do some demonstrations <laughs> once I've had a game save so try and remember that she uh, she just drops dead <laughs> Okay, so the, the trench has been drained and this on the ground, the blue light, is the light it was referring to. Now also in this room, just in this, this second half, not the first half of the room, um, there are a lot of these on the wall, but in this half of the room they are openings. You can just peer inside, but you need to open them up. You only need to open specific ones and one of them is a secret. So that's what this light is. This tile that I'm on gives us some items, opens a section with items. This one is actually the exit. You can see above that there's the, the corresponding pictures. You can move the tiles all the way along here. But this is our hint. The light is the hint. So that's the exit, the one that looks like there's an arrow. This one. And then this one is for a secret. So I'll go ahead and move the block onto there first. So any block, doesn't matter, just grab one. Okay, so actually all three openings are on this side, just by chance, I guess. So this is the one that has our secret. So you'll need to press the, the, uh, the crouch to climb on into each gap. And we have our secret. Uh -huh. So all five secrets are actually just in level one. That will be clear as to why once we reach the end of the level that will be explained. So now I'm going to pull this block 
back so it's on this tile so that we can leave this room. And then I'm gonna grab another block to put it here so that we can grab the uh, the items. Open up the doorway with the items. Okay, another thing is it seems that once you've opened a door it remains open. That's how it seems like the secret door. There's two doors open over here and one was the secret door. So I feel that uh, they stay open once they're opened. But our items are just through this one. We have more flares and a med pack. Smoke and a pancake. Okay, so the exit is just a little further down here. This is the one. And this is where we are forced to use a med pack. You'll see what happens. I'd better hurry. This place is filled with hallucinogenic gas. So you can use a med pack at any point to stop the poison. But yeah, we uh, we have to use a med pack there. What on earth are those guys doing? And what is that creature watching them? I must be dreaming. Maybe I can get it to attack them. So yeah, there's four guys standing around in the middle here. This is pretty damn annoying. So this weird cat thing, this golden cat, acts like the bull. So to trigger the cat, you just stand on the tile that it's on and the cat needs to knock down the figures. But it's tricky. <laughs> So we got that one already, that, so that's good. So I, uh, yeah, I'll just struggle my way through this. Because even when the cat, you know, blunders into these uh, the guys, they don't always fall down. And you can go in here, but it looks like this is a breath bar. I don't fully understand that. I guess it's a poison area, but you can step out of it and not be poisoned. When the cat's doing that, that's good. That knocks the figure down as well, or at least it should. It did not, okay, I take it back. Yeah, I, I dislike this. <laughs> yeah, you see that? And that, this is why. I might have to reload. Sometimes it depends how long you are on this first tile for, which is just weird. I got one. Okay, good. Yeah, that's annoying when it comes this way as well. Yeah, it didn't get him. Okay, good, that was lucky. One more, come on. Might just take a hit. Yeah, good. 
Okay, the cat has disappeared now. We're all good. Everything is fine. So the guy that looked like he was being sacrificed has fallen through here. So that's where I'm actually going to go before I do that. There's a few items in this room. So the north wall. This is north. We have more items here. So to grab these, these are really difficult. So take a hop back from the wall and then one more step. It's not easy to hop into here. You can't climb into here. Okay, got it. So another smoke and a pancake. Aha. Uh -huh. So from here, south, is it southwest? Yep, southwest. Come diagonally over to this corner. All the way over here and we can climb into this gap for another secret. Uh -huh. Pokey pokey. Is that three? I lost track. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Now we can head on down into the crazy opening. We just got to make sure we're on the correct side. Get rid of my flare. Is this it? You want to be above the cross. Okay, this is it. So your fall will be broken. You will descend slowly. So you want to be this side, otherwise you will just plummet down a bit too far and get off the tiles with the cross and the candles really quickly because they will poison you. You can be on the tiles for a short while, but not too long. Uh -huh. So here's that guy just floating there. So I think I'm going to assume that's the, the homeless guy that we gave a banana to. I don't know if it's supposed to be the same guy. I would possibly assume. And we have a book over here. So let's see what this book says. As above, so below, where do those skeletons go? choose badly and things will end madly okay so that is a hint of what we're doing in here there is just another pickup of med packs I can get though if I can remember where they are I can never find these ones there they are <laughs> yeah just wander around you'll find them so as above so below that is kind of a mirror image kind of reference so there are skeletons on the ground, and if we look up to the ceiling, there's the odd skeleton on the ceiling as well. That flash with the flare going out, don't worry. <laughs> so we need to move a skeleton so it's on the same spot as on the ceiling. Now this is kind of easy to figure out because each skeleton is actually in the corners. So move each corner skeleton. If you move a wrong skeleton, Lara will just be set on fire. Okay, we have spawned an enemy. Uh, I believe he's on the very left side of the area. Where is he? There he is.
Okay, so after killing him, one of these holes has filled with water. A few of them have filled with water, my mistake. I kinda, I didn't mean to fall down, but I got very lucky. So you can't see the water, I guess that's why I got a bit mixed up with what's occurring. But along the west wall, this is not west. Where am I? This is east. <laughs> okay, it's west. I know it's west. So I was already here, apparently. <laughs> there we go. So I believe a few of these gaps have filled with water, but we need this specific one so that we can come down through this way. So I'll show you what's what in this water section. So left and right both have an opening. They both lead to the same room. So I'll show you, there is a receptacle and a griffin just there. So there's actually two receptacles, one on each side of the wall. So we need to collect two items to put there. There must be certain pulleys I need to pull. Perhaps I should take a look at the wall of bones for a clue. I need to go back in the water to get there. So this is good, this has given us a hint of what we're doing here. There are many pulleys, but we need to know which ones to pull. So continuing along, come up here. This is the wall of bones that was mentioned. So look at the wall of bones, what do we have? We have what looks a bit like a face. There's like two eyes, a nose, and three windows is a mouth. That's our hint. Eyes, nose, mouth. So if we go to, back to that room with the psychedelic floor, we'll know which levers to pull now. Which chains. So now I climb out, we can kind of get a better view of what we've got. We've got a skull face. So eyes, nose, mouth. If you pull the wrong one, you'll burn up and die. Okay, so that hinted back at the wall of bones, so let's head back there. The white wall is the way we came. So what we did was raise the water level. We can now get into what was the eye sockets. And behind each one is a uh -huh. griffin's crystal. Okay, so now we've got them, we can go and place them. So if you did look at the inventory to see the name, you'll see Griffin Crystal. And if you did already see the Griffin, that is a hint of where we're going, what we're doing with the crystals. So sometimes Lara doesn't climb out here, just go into the water and then resurface again. She should climb out, that's always happened for me, like if she's not climbed out the first time, it's been success the second time. Okay, and the griffin has come to life. This gets a little crazy, keep rolling, keep rolling. Okay, there we go. 
So placing the two griffin crystals has opened up this doorway. We can come on in and enter. Follow the path. It is a bit dark, but it's not that bad, really. We'll come across a chain at the end of the path. Here we go. So go ahead and pull this. Okay, and come on in. So that's shown is which way we want to go next, but we have to figure out how to get through there. So you can slide down either side, but do be careful. These in the ceiling are boulders, so slide down where there is not a boulder. Hop into the water, I'm just going to pick up a smoke and a pancake. Uh -huh. Okay, and you might be able to spot there is an opening there. So let's hop into there and see what's occurring. I wonder if that blockage could be eaten away? I thought it was a grab. And then I thought, no, I'll be fine. Not fine. Oops. Okay, finally. It's always best to hold down the forward button, but that still was not working. <laughs> okay, this one's a grab, confirmed. So she mentioned about the blockage being eaten away. If we reach into this handhold, We'll have a bunch of little mice, so just get out of here quick, otherwise they're going to nibble you to pieces. And now you've activated them, just stand on the blockage. And that removes it, and we can continue. That's one reason why I picked up the items first, it's so we weren't trying to pick them up while we were being nibbled. I need the sword that skeleton is carrying, but my pistols aren't strong enough to defeat it. Okay, there's the skeleton. So, the pistols aren't strong enough, so how do we blow up a skeleton? That's right, with explosives. <laughs> Okay, there are two hatches in the room. Quickly rush on over to open them up. We need to go through both of them, doesn't matter which one we do first. Ouch. <laughs> Drop on down. As I've just said, you can go through either one, whichever happens to be convenient to avoid the skeleton. Uh, so this puzzle, there is this switch on the wall, go ahead and pull this, and you can see there was, down that passage on the side, there was a block. So what we've done is uh, this block has been b destroyed by this pendulum. So we're going to do the same with this block. Just got to put it onto that odd tile. Okay, when you pull it as far as it can go, just pull it out this way once. And then go around and push it just once. And the pendulum won't do any damage by the way, it'll just give you a right good push out of the way. Okay, and now we can come to this side and then we'll easily be able to move this block onto the tile. Uh. 
Okay, and we have uh -huh. these that we can pick uh -huh. up. So what do we have? We have some bones and some more bones. And together they are a crossbone. Okay, it's something. So now we can uh, leave this hatch and go down the next hatch, do the second half of the puzzle. Okay, coming on in and we can see we have these water skins. So this is a water skin puzzle. Uh -huh. Our hint uh -huh. was that we need just one liter. This is pretty simple. So just fill up the three liter. We've got a three liter and a five liter. Fill up the small three liter bag. Combine it with the five liter Okay, there's three litre in the five liter, litre, and again, fill up the small bag, the three litre. So there's only room for two more litres, whoops, in the, um, the large water skin. So if we fill that up, we put two litres in the five litre bag, giving us our remaining one litre in the small bag. So that's it, all done. Okay, so just approach this skull that's over the cauldron and things will automatically happen. Okay, and just pick up this. Uh -huh. So this is our explosive ammo. So go ahead and equip that, equip the crossbone, and now we can blow up that skeleton. There we go, and we can grab the sword. Now this is just a crowbar item, but now we've got that, we can start climbing on up the room. So we are looking for a raised section of floor. There we, are. There we go, just by this hatch. I wonder when the last time I saved was. I should save <laughs> before climbing. Okay, so the jumps are pretty obvious of where to go next. Whoops. And that's why. That's why I saved. I was kind of uh, not really being careful. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, that one's a tight jump. I should have been more careful because I knew it was a tight jump. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> okay, and then we're hopping over to here. You just want to hit the slope to easily come over here. So this is the crowbar lever we're gonna use. Okay, and this tile has come away from the wall. So that will help us start climbing up. Before I get to the top, we have a chance to grab some more items. So once Laura's hands are level with the tile line, we can come over here. So it's just another smoke and a pancake. Okay, and now continue climbing. Uh. 
Okay, proceed along. So you'll want to go to the right hand side here, the left is a dead end. So this is our next puzzle. We have a reset button. It's kind of, there it is, you can just see it. So that resets things in this puzzle if you go wrong. It looks like I should activate certain levers, but which ones? The placement of the gate in the corner. Maybe a clue. Hopefully I will get the right angle on this. Right angle on this. Okay, so the gate in the corner is actually right over there. That's the one it's referring to. We do have a hint. I feel it's a bit difficult to understand. So just here, where there's another smoke and a pancake. Aha. Aha. Okay, we have this sarcophagus. This is our hint. I can't get over it. Okay. So it's a triangle. You only need to look at one, but the corner section where there's kind of a square marker, that's the exit gate. If you class that as the exit gate, you might be able to figure out which uh, levers we're pulling. So I'm gonna go back to the entrance and uh, help you out from there. So this is the entrance, not the gate that was marked on the triangle hint. We're pulling all these levers all the way along here to the exit and then from that wall all the way down to the other corner and then diagonally back up to here. Uh, hello. Oh, Lara. So it took me a while, but I made it along to, to the exit gate. That's the exit, so let's keep on going, keep pulling the levers. So from here, all the way down. Okay, and from here, diagonally back up. Okay, and that is it. So let's proceed to the exit. Okay, another crowbar lever, just go ahead and use this. Oh, 
Okay, so that opened up the big hatch all the way down below. We're actually like really high <laughs> above this area. So we're gonna do a leap of faith down into there. So that is full of water. You can't really tell from here. So you can just do a standing jump. Firstly, I will just grab one last <gasps> secret. Actually, no, it's not the last one, not yet. So we can grab this, come around the corner. And into this opening. And there's our secret. Okay, head back up and then we can hop down into the trap door. sure I'm lined up. <laughs> it was close. Okay, swim on through past this sarcophagus and over to this lever. So go ahead and pull this. Okay, the water level is drained and these two gates are now open. So before proceeding through one of the gates, just turn around and back to this sarcophagus because this contains our last secret. Aha. Nice. So firstly, I'm gonna go through the right hand door. More smoke and a pancake. Okay, if you went to the uh, the previous doorway, you'll probably figure out what the item is that in here that we're getting. So just grab this, hop backwards and grab again. And you can stay on this tile space. Do the same again, you don't need to shimmy across. It might be best if you don't shimmy because you'll safely land there instead of landing on this tile space. But you can climb up here without getting hurt as long as you keep crouched. You can grab a uh -huh. spade. Uh. She always stops right there. No idea why. Okay, uh. next doorway there is. Just watch your head. <laughs> there is this grave. So approach it and Lara will automatically start digging. Okay, proceed along. So in here we do have some crazy shenanigans. We have this time switch that will open the door at the end. The way to do this is just keep straight down the middle. You will not take any damage. Gotta go fast. This might be where I'm gonna end up demonstrating the weird death roll. Yeah, I, forkind, got, I kind of forgot to show it off when I said I would. Whoops. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? You see, that's what she does. She just drops dead. <laughs> I believe that was the first death and I did it on purpose. <laughs> so do jump as well. You just make it without rolling. So we have another crowbar lever, which will open these doors. We really don't need to go back though. So just approach this and the level will end. I found all five secrets. So we have exchanged these for a grenade launcher. Nice. So that is something that's, um, that's the reason we got so many secrets. We got them all in level one. 
and uh, so we got a grenade launcher for level 2 for finding them all and I will not be using it because <laughs> it actually does damage to Lara as well so we do already have the crossbow with an explosive arrow so I would recommend going with that so next level won't be as long as this one this one is a super long level and I will hope you'll join me for the next time take it easy guys and girls <laughs>